It is below freezing outside and I'm sitting here eating ice cream because I've been looking for non-dairy, non-coconut ice cream that is not vanilla flavored. I found sea salt caramel almond ice cream. So if you see me convulsing during this video, I'm only freezing to death and it's well worth it. For today's more Q than A, the question comes from Akira Ravens on Tumblr, and she said, I'd love to hear more about the kingdoms, especially the ones we didn't see in SLA, and how you cope with them, their names, etc. And I picked this question for today because... Alright, okay, putting the ice cream away now. I miss it already. So last year, I don't know if you guys remember, I did uh, character profiles, uh, introducing you guys to the characters in Snow Like Ashes through like uh, background information. And because in Ice Like Fire there's a whole new slew of people in New Kingdoms, I figured it only appropriate to do character profiles for Ice Like Fire again too. I will be doing character profiles for the Kingdom of Summer in March, the Kingdom of Yakim in April, and the Kingdom of Ventrali in May. These will all be leading up to June when the Summer Join the Blizzard contest will happen. And for that contest uh, to win, you guys will have to answer questions based on all the, king the character profile tidbits that I let you know about during March, April, and May. Uh, but I'll link back to everything so you guys won't be expected to remember it all off the top of your head. <laughs> this is supposed to be fun, not like an exam. The first one will be coming this Tuesday, March 10th, so check out my Tumblr for the introduction to Summer. And then check back every Tuesday for- in March, it'll be every Tuesday will be about Summer, and then what, April for Yakim and May for Ventrali, and by the time June comes, you guys are going to be experts on all the kingdoms nice like fire. But for today's video, I will tell you one of my favorite things about each of those three kingdoms that you guys will learn about. My, one of my favorite things about the Kingdom of Summer is also one of the things that makes it such not the best place to live. Summer is known for pleasure, for uh, happiness and bliss, and everything in their society kind of revolves around enjoying life. So they're kind of I call them the Las Vegas of Primoria. <laughs> There's just the the kingdom where everything goes, which is good in some instances. I mean, they're all just kind of laid back and nothing really stresses them out, which is a great trait to have to just be able to kind of be like, meh, and relaxed and happy. But it's also kind of bad when people need help and when th bad things happen. They you kind of need to be a little stressed and a little able to feel something other than bliss. But it's one of the things I love about them is that they're able to be very happy and carefree, even though it can sometimes be a bad thing. One of my favorite things about the Kingdom of Yakim, uh, they are the knowledge kingdom, so they're very scientific and driven and focused. They don't let a lot of emotion get in the way, so they're kind of almost the exact opposite of summer. And one of my favorite things about the Kingdom of Yakim, they're kind of a steampunk culture. Because they're the knowledge kingdom, they have a higher level of development than the other kingdoms, uh, but they kind of keep that development to themselves knowledge is their power, so they're not about to just share it with everybody. But I love steampunk, that kind of fashion and style and culture, which is so different from all the other kingdoms. Then the Kingdom of Ventrali, they are the art kingdom. One of my favorite things about the Kingdom of Ventrali is a setting that we don't get to spend a whole lot of time in, but it's referred to. It's um, in the, the capital city, Rintiero, in the um, palace grounds, there is a glass garden. And I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to Seattle, but there is their, I'm gonna say the name wrong, Chihuly Glass Gardens in Seattle. I went there a couple years ago, and I just loved the idea of an entire garden made of glass. And since Ventrali is the art kingdom, it was just very fitting for them to have this representation of perfection in a most in a controlled artistic form. So actually, the ruling family's family motto is the power of things concealed. Taking something real and warping it so that the only thing you see is this perfect exterior. So yeah, those are three of my favorite things in those three kingdoms, and if you guys want to learn more about these three kingdoms, please tune in uh, March, April, and May. I will have little graphic info snippets, I will also have some videos uh, wherein I explore some of the fun parts of these various kingdoms with you guys. Don't forget, if you guys are in the Northern Virginia area, I will be at Nova Teen Book Fest this Saturday, so come on out. I will have Ice Like Fire swag, and I will have one special Ice Like Fire collector sleeve, so I haven't decided how I'm going to be giving that away yet, but I will have it with me, so pay attention to me throughout the day. I'm sh I'll try to figure out some fun way to give it away. Even if you don't win that, I'll still have the uh, the rest of the trading card slash mini bookmarks with me, so you guys can still get one of those. They just won't have the collector sleeve with them. And next week's video will be a video of the Nova Teen Book Fest, because I'll have my camera with me, and I'll try to record as much silliness and shenanigans as I can. So please tune in for that, and stay warm, guys. Bye, Winterians. That's sad, because he's like 16.